I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here, and in today's video I'll be showing you how to change the location where your screenshots and screen recordings are saved to. This will work for all Samsung Galaxy devices running One UI 5.1 or higher. So by default, Samsung has chosen to save your screenshots and screen recording videos to a subfolder within the DCIM directory. This is fine for some people, but there are a number of cloud backup services that will upload everything that is saved in the DCIM folder, which again, is what some people want, but others don't need their simple screenshots uploaded to their cloud storage provider of choice. Some OEMs store these screenshots in a different location, so this isn't an issue for them, but anyone with a Samsung Galaxy device running the One UI firmware has had to deal with this. Thankfully, there's a way to change this, and we can do it by first opening up the Settings application. Now we're gonna scroll down a little bit until we find the advanced features option. And then from here, we're going to look for a screenshots and screen recorder menu. We have a number of options that we can change and customize here, but today we're gonna to be focusing on the folder where these are saved to. So let's first look at the save screenshots in option. And as you can see, by default, these screenshots are gonna be stored in a screenshots folder within the DCIM directory. So tapping on this is going to bring up a file browser where we can change this to something else. So let's take this back to the internal storage location and then we can tap on the plus icon up here at the top right corner and create a new folder for our screenshots to be saved in. Once this has been selected, we're gonna tap on done. And with this changed, our screenshots will now be saved to this directory. If you're having a similar issue with your screen capture recordings, then we can do the same by scrolling down to the bottom of this page. From here, just like before, we can see that our screen recordings are being stored in a subfolder within the DCIM directory. So again, let's tap on that. We're gonna change this to our internal storage. And again, we're gonna create a new folder. For our screen recordings. Once that folder has been created, let's go ahead and select it and then tap on done. And again, we can see the change has been reflected here as our screen recordings will no longer be stored in the DCIM directory. While this may seem like a small customization feature, it's one that can save people a ton of stress when they don't have to worry about these being backed up to the cloud.